Hey guys and welcome to Nigerian Food Channel. This is another fantastic episode by yours truly, your boy Franklin. In the bowl here, I've got some lovely goat meat, okay? Today I'm making goat meat pepper soup. Now, I'll take you through my ingredients very quickly. In the bowl here in the worktop, I've got some lovely fresh king prawns, right? And I've got my onion, I'm also making this goat meat pepper soup with a bit of a twist, my own feel. Just rather than just using the goat meat alone, I decided just to, you know, tweak it and just customize the whole thing to make for a great, yummy and fantastic goat meat pepper soup, right? So anyway, very quickly, on here, I've got my uh, two unripe plantain, I've got onions. Now, this is a major part of this, um, pepper soup, which is the pepper soup spice. I've got two maggi cubes on here. I've got my ground hot pepper, ground crayfish, and I've got my ground scent leaves. This helps to, you know, improve the taste of the pepper soup overall. So there you go. Let's get cooking. Right, I've got my goat meat on fire, with a bit of water in the pot, okay? So I'm going to add my two maggi cubes and some salt. I've also got my unripe plantain, slice them, and they're on fire right now. So I'm just gonna add a bit of salt because we need this to boil. Let's add a bit of salt. They're very good, they're quite healthy as well. So this is going to boil and um, we'll also leave that on fire for about 20, 25 minutes because this is going to form part of the um, goat meat pepper soup. to add some of my seasoning, pepper soup seasoning. So, let me show you, right. In here, I've got three tablespoons of my pepper soup spice. I've got one tablespoon and a half of my ground hot pepper. I've got one tablespoon and a half of my crayfish. Okay, so everything's going to go in now. Okay, my king prawns. And a bit of my scent leaves. Now the scent leaves, you can get them fresh, okay? These are dry ones, be careful not to overuse them. I've sort of soaked them in hot water, okay? So it helps, just gives pepper soup an overall nice, yummy taste so we are going to stir the mixture got the prawns and the goat meat and the nice plantain so we'll leave it on fire to boil for another five minutes and we serve right it's all set my goat meat pepper soup. Here you go, guys. This is my goat meat pepper soup served with my unripe plantain, my fresh king prawns, and just look at that. That tastes absolutely yum. Can't wait to dive into that. Thanks for watching. If you haven't, give me a thumbs up, 
like my video share subscribe and i'll see you in the next video thank you bye now